Welcome to a new video which is about product to some formulas in trigonometry. In this video I will show you the formulas used to solve these questions. After that we will solve three instructive examples. Without further ado, let's get started. The formulas that we are going to be using are here guys. We have sine a times cosine b which is 1 divided by 2 times, there is big parenthesis here, sine a plus b plus sine a minus b. If you realize on the left side of the equal sign we have sine and cosine. Here also we have cosine sine, we have cosine cosine and we have sine sine. So on the left we can think that we have a combination of sine and cosine but on the right we have either just sine like this we have here and also we have sine as you can see this function and this function they are all sine and here we have cosine cosine and we have cosine cosine here. Here the sine between those two functions is plus minus plus and minus so what you can do is you can memorize the functions like sine a times cosine b and then we have sine sine and the sine between those functions are plus if you have cosine sine then the sine between functions is negative here if you have cosine and cosine as multiplied as we see here and and then we're gonna have cosine and cosine and the sine between cosine and cosine is positive and if you have sine and sine as multiplied then the sine between those two functions is negative there is just one thing that I want to remind you and that is guys as you can see we have 1 divided by 2 as a coefficient right again we have 1 divided by 2 here again the same thing 1 divided by 2 but here guys we have negative 1 divided by 2 that is the only extra thing that which is different from the others I know the formulas might be a little bit complicated, but once you get used to solve questions, guys, then you're going to grasp the topic easily, I believe. And because of that, let's take a look at some examples. And this is our first example, guys. We have sine 75 degree times cosine 75 degree, and that is equal to what, guys? If you think the first angle, which is 75 degree as A, and then the 15 degree as B, and then our formula becomes sine A times cosine B, right? So this is the formula that we will be using in this question. Here we have 1 divided by 2. Let me write it here. 1 divided by 2 times the square bracket. We have sine. We're going to add the angles, right? 75 plus 15 is going to be 90 degree. So we have sine 90 plus sine. We're going to subtract the angles. 75 minus 15, which is going to be 60, guys. So from here, guys, we have 1 divided by 2 times sine 90 is 1. As we all know it sine 60 is square root of 3 divided by 2 guys right square root of 3 divided by 2 so here what you can do is guys you can distribute this 1 divided by 2 into the parentheses first or you can just add 1 to square root of 3 divided by 2 whichever one you prefer the final answer is not gonna be different let's distribute this number first and once we do it then we're gonna have 1 divided by 2 times 1 which is gonna be 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 times square root of 3 actually let me write it first 1 times square root of 3 divided by 2 times 2 here actually this is 4 right so in the denominator part in the first term in 1 divided by 2 we have 2 in denominator but here we have 4 in denominator so in order to add those fractions up guys you need to make the denominators same and in order to do that we need to multiply the first fraction by 2 or we need to extend the first fraction by 2 and once we do it then we're going to have 2 divided by 4 plus square root of 3 divided by 4 guys and now the denominators are the same so we can add the numerators up and the final answer is going to be 2 plus square root of 3 divided by 4 guys which is the final answer in this question and our next question guys we have cosine 15 degree times cosine 75 degree and what is the value of this in this question guys as you can see we have cosine and cosine as multiplied so this is the formula that we will be using but here guys as you can see here we are subtracting the second angle from the first one so in such cases guys I recommend you to write because we are multiplying two terms right if you switch those like uh, cosine b times cosine a then it's not gonna make a difference so in such cases I recommend you to write the first term 
whose angle is bigger so here guys we have 75 degree right so because 75 is greater than 15 then I can write this question as cosine 75 times cosine 15 guys I just want to say you that you can make this a habit guys in such questions because we are multiplying two terms okay if you switch those two terms then it's not gonna make any difference because of that you can do that but actually if you don't do it the result is not gonna be different because we can have here cosine negative right because if you subtract 75 from 15 it's it's gonna be cosine negative 60 still it's gonna be cosine plus 60 but just to make it a general rule I recommend you to switch those terms at the beginning so then our question becomes guys cosine 75 times cosine 15 guys so here as I said this is the formula that we'll be using we're gonna have 1 divided by 2 times in the square bracket we have cosine we need to add those angles up and once you do it then 75 plus 15 is gonna be 90 degree plus cosine and now we have 75 minus 15 which is gonna be 60 guys and in the next step actually as I said at the beginning let me remind it again if you didn't change those angles here we were gonna have cosine negative 60 but still it's gonna be positive 60 it's not gonna make any difference as I said but for other formulas I just want to give you a tip that if you write the bigger one first and then the question becomes easy for you anyway let's continue here guys we have 1 divided by 2 times in the square bracket we have cosine 90 is 0 right plus cosine 60 is sine 30 which is 1 divided by 2 guys and here let me continue here 1 divided by 2 times here if you add of course 0 by 1 divided by 2 it's going to be 1 divided by 2 of course and in order to multiply those fractions we multiply the numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator so the result is going to be 1 divided by 4 guys and this is our last question guys in this video I just pick a little bit different questions from the others and we are given 4x as pi and if this is the case then what is the value of sine x times sine 3x guys and again if you realize the degrees here we have x and here we have 3x guys right as I said in our previous example it's better to write the term whose angle is bigger because 3x is bigger than just x then I'm gonna write sine 3x as our first term so we're gonna have sine 3x times sine x right so this is our question guys and if you realize here of course we have sine and sine so this is the formula that we will be using so it's gonna be negative 1 divided by 2 times let me write it first negative 1 divided by 2 times in the parentheses we have cosine we're gonna add the angles right 3x plus 1x it's gonna be 4x so we have cosine 4x here and here we have guys negative so it's gonna be negative cosine we're gonna subtract x from 3x which is gonna be 2x guys and now this is our question and we will benefit from this given data at the moment because 4x is pi right so we have 4x here right that means this is going to be pi guys right 2x is what 4x divided by 2 right 2x can be written as 4x divided by 2 so because 4x is pi then 2x is going to be actually pi divided by 2 guys and the question becomes this is equal to negative 1 divided by 2 times in the parentheses we have cosine pi minus cosine pi divided by 2 guys and we all know that cosine pi is negative 1 right this is negative 1 cosine pi divided by 2 is 0 of course so if you plug those values in our equation here then we're gonna have negative 1 divided by 2 times negative 1 plus 0 here we're gonna have negative 1 right negative 1 times negative 1 divided by 2 which is gonna be positive 1 divided by 2 guys which is the final answer in this question as I said at the beginning guys the formulas might look like a little bit complicated but once you make more practices guys then it's gonna be much more easier to memorize and remember the formulas 
and if you have any question guys related to anything you can put them in the comment section below thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next video